Let's create a new automation that will send out a report at the start of every day. So I'm going to click on the plus, okay, new automation, and I'll name it daily report. I'll click on cron trigger, which allows me to use a cron statement to tell what time I want this to happen. Now this gives me a field to be able to fill in my cron expression. Underneath this so presets, there are some examples I can add. So every minute, every hour, every morning at 8 a.m., every night at midnight, and every buddy base reboot. So they cover most of the things that you might want to do. If you've got something more complex, a tool like crontab.guru is a really helpful way to test some things out. So maybe you want to send out a report at 8 a.m. and also at, 4, at 5 p.m. Um, then you can test them in here, you can test these things out. So the format of a cron expression is it has five parts to it, representing the minute, the hour, the day of the month, so whether or not that's like the 31st, the 1st or the 2nd, the month of the year, so whether or not that's January for 1 up to December for 12, and, and the day of the week, so whether or not you want to only send out report on Mondays in January. So if I just wanted to send out reports, on Monday at January at, this would send every minute of January, so stars every one of those. But we actually want to send a report at say 9 a.m. Um, on Mondays in January. For us, we're gonna use one of the presets. We're gonna say 8 a.m. every morning. So 0, 8, 0, space, 8, space, star, 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 star. And what do I want to do? Well, I would like to query some rows. I would like to find out um, at that time what's in my appointments table. I can define some filters and sort of define whether or not I only want um, appointments from today. So add a column where the date equals um, a binding, um, which is today. Under here, date, I uh, don't know. And then we can do that in date, date, month, month, year, 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 year. And what do we want to do after that? Well, after that, we would like to send an email. Okay, we want to send it again to test at kevincunningham.co.uk. Um, and we want to send it from test at buddybase.com, daily report. And then we've got some HTML contents. Um, and what we can do now is we can get the array from that step. And we could just print out that whole array. Here are the appointments. And we can print that out. Now, as well as that, maybe we could add a backend log, which just says, hey, um, carried out the um, cron trigger for daily report. We can finish in test. So we run the test. We can see everything seems to have worked okay. So let's check our email. So our email is a bit ugly at the moment. We'd probably want to iterate over that to find the right things that we want to be able to show, but we can see we are getting data from those rows. And what about the backend log? Well, I'm running my instance of BuddyBase on Docker. So if I go into my BuddyBase instance and I search for cron, I can see here, carried out the cron trigger for the daily report. Now remember, until I deploy my application, so publish it up here and publish again, then my cron won't actually execute. And equally, if I decide I don't want this report again, I might delete it or pause it or do something else. Um, I can delete it but it will still be running until I republish my application like that. And now it's published. And that's why I'd send a report every morning.